Friends, my name is Jason Silva, and we are living in interesting times. It is 2023, and we are spawning a new kind of synthetic intelligence, a new kind of artificial sentience. We are living through a transformative shift in our coevolution with technology. For the first time in human history, we have technology that can converse with us. It is a phase change in human evolution, in the coevolution of humans and technology. It is the moment where a new feedback loop is being unleashed, a new feedback loop where we are conversing and therefore thinking with another kind of sentience, with a kind of synthetic intelligence that works in ways we don't fully understand, but something to do with a neural net. The point is we are creating a new kind of plasticity in the way that we communicate with our own creations. It's giving us a whole new set of philosophical issues to contend with. What will be the unintended side effects, the unintended consequences of this new coupling of humans and thinking machines? Will we unleash a utopia beyond human imagination? Will we finally solve cancer? Will we turn biology into a programmable medium and learn to fold new kinds of protein configurations that heal us of all of our illnesses, all of our diseases, and all of our suffering? Will we literally part the seas of our own ignorance and open up the cosmos? Will we go interstellar by deciphering new mathematical equations that describe the substrate of space and time using these non-biological intelligence that can literally perform more calculations per second than we could ever dream? Is this all going to speciate us into the next realm, the kind of protopian ideal that Kevin Kelly and other thinkers dream about, where we become our imagination, where the imagination summons its own literalizations. It could go this way, friends, it could go this way, but we could also fuck things up. Why? Because as Edward O. Wilson has said, we have arrived at a turning point in our evolution. He says we have Paleolithic brains, unfortunately. We have medieval laws that, as noble as they may seem, they can't keep up. And then we have godlike technology, you know? It's like Stuart Brand said, we are as gods and might as well get good at it. But what happens if we don't, right? With great power comes great responsibility. And you would hope comes great wisdom. But we lack the necessary wisdom. So we need a whole collective shift, a whole planetary shift. We need to see the pale blue dot. We need to see ourselves in a kind of shared identity. We need to assume a new narrative that propels us all forward. Stop the fighting, stop the politics, stop the misinformation, the disinformation, the fake news. Unify together under the idea that we are star makers, spawning a new kind of digital intelligence that will unleash new possibilities that are beyond what we can conceive. We must come together under this narrative or we will face the consequences of which we can barely imagine. We are at an existential fork in the road whereby the future of what it means to be humans is up for grabs. It is an opportunity for us to rise to the occasion, to step into our interstellar destiny, or become but a cautionary tale that other intelligences across the cosmos look upon as what might have been if we didn't fuck things up. So that's where we are today, a moment of existential consequence. And that is my invitation to all of you to get with the program, to wake yourselves up from your fractures and your, the stories that no longer sustain you, to craft a new mythos together, all of us now, and lean into our power and lean into our possibility. Because we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Like the poets, like O'Shaughnessy said, like many others have said, it's a chance for us to lean into our noblest and greatest impulses and possibilities. So get on board. <laughs>